Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in my last video, we have seen how to get list of files and directories using list directory method. But it had some limitations and it would not search and include subdirectories. To search and list under each subdirectory as well, we will use walk method in this video tutorial. So let's get started. os.walk is a recursive function and it get list of all files, directories and its subdirectories from the given path. It can take up to 4 parameters but usually we work only with one that is top which is our directory path. It returns a generator that creates a tuple of current path, all directories in the current path and all files from the current path. Let us understand with the code. We'll use similar code structure from the previous tutorial. If you have not seen that video, I recommend to watch. Link is available at the top right corner. Also in the end of this video, I will be sharing a solution to create a single dictionary having all files and folder list in a structured way. So keep watching. First step is to import OS module. So I can write import OS. Then let's declare one variable. Let's say folder path. And we'll set it to some folder path value from where we need to read all files and directories. So let me paste the path. Next step is calling our walk method by passing our folder path variable. We'll combine with for loops similar to last video. So I can write for. The first result will be the current folder where we are. So I can name current folder. Second will be the list containing all directories in the current folder. So let's name this as folders in current folder. And last value will be all files in the current folder. That is files in current folder. In os.walk and we'll pass folder path as a variable. This is recursive process, so result will be processed for each subfolder as well. It will go through each directory recursively to get a list of files and directories until no further subdirectories are available. Let's print this value and see the result. So I can write print and it will be something like current folder and its value. It will be something current folder. Next is to print subfolders and files as well. So let me print folders in current path. I can write so I have printed all. So let me save and try to run. As you can see, current folder is project purpose, and inside that we have two lists. This is the folder list and these are the file list. If you want only specific files to be printed like PDF or doc or if you want some additional check then please refer to my last video where I have explained each of them in detail. You can add same logic here and play with that. It is always recommended to create function and call that function with required parameters and the function should return us with the expected output. In this example, as I promised, I will create a dictionary which will have current folder as a key and values will be the folder and file list. Let me create that function and show you. So I have created one function which will take one parameter and create a dictionary and return us with the expected output. Here I have called this function which will return us with nice dictionary object having all data. To print the data in formatted way for this tutorial, I have used pprint module which will print data by adding some indent. Let me run this. Now as you can see output has folder path as a key and it contains two values, file list and folder list. So this is a nice structured way. That's it for this video. You can find code on our website theprogrammingportal.com and also learn some other topics as well. I hope you find this video useful. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon. Leave me a comment if you have any queries or suggestion. Thank you for watching. See you next time.